Well, with corn growers always looking for bigger yields and higher quality, research and development is more important to the industry than ever before. Damon Jones recently made a trip down to the Monsanto breeding station in Leesburg that uses cross-pollination to create some of the highest quality hybrids on the market. When talking about genetics and biotechnology, a field full of corn might not be the first image that comes to mind. However, here at the Monsanto breeding facility in Leesburg, researchers are using cutting edge science to create the highest quality corn for southern producers. What we do here is focus on a lot of different issues that are, you know, uh, uh, very important for the farmers in the south. Uh, of course, yield is very important, but there are diseases, there are standability, there's grain quality, uh, you know, there's specific issues like green snap. And the main goal for all these varieties and projects is to keep the farmers happy, as the researchers take the constant input they receive very seriously. Farmers tell us what they need, and that's the driving factor for us to make a better corn hybrid for them. We listen to the farmers, what they want in the marketplace, and that's what we orient our breeding program towards their demands. In fact, this program has narrowed its focus to just southern corn in particular, as they don't even import northern varieties to be tested at this location. Uh, we can only uh, give that product if we breed them locally here, we test them locally here in our farmers' backyards, actually, to so to speak, and, and then provide them the, that value that that product brings. Uh, a north hybrid very short in duration, uh, will not have heat tolerance, will not have the standability, will not have the grain quality. So it's important that we breed here in the south. As for the process, the first step is to create a parent that is genetically pure. In order to do that, the scientists must control the pollination by using these paper bags to collect the pollen shed throughout the day and placing it on the silks of the same plant. Once the two parents are created, they are then cross-pollinated to create a hybrid. It's a long process that takes time to perfect. Uh, the important thing is you want to make sure that we do, we create a pure parent. Uh, it takes several years to create a pure parent. Likewise, we have two parents that we create. Uh, and then we make, uh, we judge which parents uh, to cross to one another. And once we have determined that, then we make the cross and that's what produces a hybrid. Now this is just the beginning of the process as it takes up to 10 years for a variety to hit the marketplace after it's been modified thanks to all the testing that needs to be done in the field. And while this does seem like a long development, that's the price you pay for high quality products. We need hybrids that will yield always better than what pre previous hybrids do, will stand better, will have the better disease tolerance. You know, southern rust is very important for us in the south. We have fusarium ear art issues that are a big problem in the south, in certain parts of the south, I would say. Uh, and those things uh, decrease the value of the corn plant for the farmers. We want to provide them the best of the best. It's also a long wait for the scientists who take great pleasure in all their hard work. The, the, the proudest moment for a decalb breeder is when a decalb hybrid goes and gives value to the farmer. Reporting from Leesburg, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.